Hello everyone. So uh, I welcome you all to this new lecture of the lecture series. And so today we are going to start a new topic in English list called W Necklist. So in some of the uh, previous videos we looked at introduction to necklace and we looked at uh, singly necklace and uh, we also talked about um, some basic operations that we do in necklace like insertion and delete and how to declare a singly necklace object. Right. Now uh, today we are going to start a new topic called a W necklace. Okay. So first let me tell you what is a W necklace. All right. So suppose if these are datas of a singly necklace, what would it be like? Ten would be pointing to twenty. Twenty would be pointing to thirty. T and thirty would be pointing towards null. Um, Am I right? This would be the case. Okay, so what happens in uh, you know uh, doubly linked is that twenty uh, points towards thirty as well as point towards Ten also. Thirty points towards nil as well as point towards twenty also. All right, and ten also points towards nil. All right. So in a singly linked list, we have a single relation between the elements, which always go like this, right? But in a doubly linked list, we have Two way relation. One is like in this direction. Second is in like this direction. Yes. So this is uh, what we call as a W linked list. All right. So let's talk about the implementation. Like how to implement this code. Okay. Um. All right. Let's try and implement our W linked list. So let's add our header file here. Let's make our linked list structure. Let's name it as node. We'll have a data, right? We'll have a node called next. Right. This was uh, this same declaration was the same declaration was there in singly linked list, right? So what is the new data? That twenty would also Point towards ten. So for that, we are going to have one more node called previous. Is that right? All right. Now let's make constructor for this structure. We'll have next as null. We'll have previous also null. We have data as x. Right. Let's go. Now let's write our main function here. Let's have node head. Let's have the new node ten. Right. Now let's have another node called ten one. Just pointing to node twenty. Then we have another node ten two, new node thirty. All right. Now what we are going to say that head next is going to point towards ten one. All right. And ten one next is going to Point forward into ten from previous is going to point towards head. All right, and ten two previous is going to point towards ten four. Ten four. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. So that is 
implementation of a basic double linkless. So the linkless looks like this. Here we have head. Here we have temp one, and here we have temp two. Data in our head is what ten. Data in our temp one is what twenty, and data in our temp three is what uh, temp two is what thirty. So I said. Uh, according to constructor, head pivot is going to point toward what? Null. And then we change heads next to pointing towards temp one. We also change temps one next to pointing towards temp two. Since we didn't make any change in temps two next, it is going to point towards null. Right. We also said temps one previously changed to head, and temps uh, two previously changed towards. Uh, temp one, right? So this whole thing is same as this which you wanted to implement, right? So this is basically how you implement a uh, double linked list. All right. Now let's um talk about the advantages which we can use here. Give me a minute. Yeah. All right. So, uh, like, if we compare a double linked with a single linked list, what are the advantages of a double linked list? Like, why do we use it? The first of all, it can be traversed in both directions. Okay. So that means can be traversed in both the directions. Right. What is the second? In a in a single linked list, you can always insert or delete an element. Like if we have a given node, we can insert or delete element after the node, right? But here we can insert or delete before a given node. We can do both. Yes. Let's make it in. All right. And and what else? Yeah, that would be like the broad advantages, right? Okay, that's cool. Now let's talk about disadvantages here. Right. Can the the most common is not teach that must be coming in your mind is in your mind is that it makes the code complex, right? So code becomes complex because see on a personal level I'm saying when you work with linked list, code tends to get complex because you have to work with pointers. Okay, in a single linked list also, but In a double linked list, you have to take care of another pointer called previous. And while working in a linked list, it's already complex, and introducing a new pointer makes it more complex. So the biggest advantage of a double linked list is it makes the code complex. Now the second point um, would be that your pointer that is prev it requires It's class space, so more memory allocation to be provided. So that is also a disadvantage. Sure, all right. So okay, let's do this. Good. So yeah, so I guess I gave you a broad idea of. What is a double linked list? How to implement it? And we also talked about advantages and disadvantages of a double linked list. So in the upcoming videos, we are going to look at the basic operations of a double linked list as we saw in a single linked list. That will be insert at the beginning, at the end, and delete at the beginning, at the end. All right. So I guess that was it uh, for this video. And see you next time. Thank you.